Hello and welcome. Here is your ultimate six step guide to making your plant or machinery shine again. The first step is to prepare the machine. First, remove all decals with a special label spray and a putty knife or scraper. Then, strip the old paintwork and remove any corrosion. This can be done by manual or mechanical sanding or by sandblasting. Mechanical or manual rust removal produces a much lower quality than blasting and will usually result in a shorter protection period of the applied paint and can affect the adhesion of the primer. Do not forget to remove dents and use a filler to repair any holes. You could use Upol Easy for deep dents and then use Upol Easy 3 finishing filler to get a smooth finish. Upol D is ideal for metal filling and is even manufactured in a vacuum to provide an ultra fine finish with no particles left in the mix. Once the filler has fully dried, you will need to sand smooth using either Merca Abrina Ace, dust free sanding discs or Merca Base Cut sanding discs with an orbital sander. These actions will result in a smooth surface and will lead to an impeccable paint finish. Remove any dirt residue and other water soluble contamination by means of high pressure washing with clean tap water and degreasing soap. There are three reasons to do this. One, no more dust on the machine that can become trapped up in the paint. Two, if contaminants remain on the surface, it will result in poor adhesion of the paint coating and delamination or peeling will occur. And three, the masking tape you will use for masking up later will stick better. Many sprayers have become accustomed to using 3M tape like 3030 or 2328 as it has proven performance. However, you can find the same performance results with Promas 3 Beige or the Promas 3 Green Premium Tape. Degrease the surface to be painted, this allows your paint to adhere well. Put a suitable cleaning agent on a light coloured rag in order to see when the surface is clean. Remove all loose parts that do not need to be painted, such as mirrors. Put masking tape on the parts you cannot remove, such as door handles and mechanical parts, and cover tyres and windows with masking paper or plastic sheeting like polymask. You can use yellow or white static sheeting. Step two is protect yourself and your workplace. Protect yourself against the paint. You need a spray coverall and gloves and a face mask with carbon filters to avoid inhaling solvents. We will also advise using earplugs to prevent solvents from entering the ear canals and affecting the brain, which could ultimately cause dementia. Paint will most likely hit your floor and walls. That's why you need to protect them as well. Use Propeal HD coating on the floor and cover the walls with Propeal peelable coating. Check out our other video on the benefits of Gramos Pro Peel in your spray booth above. Make sure your workplace is equipped with a good ventilation system that extracts any paint mists and vapours. The third step is to choose the right paint. Choosing the right paint is crucial for a good paint job. Take into account the composition of paint, the quantity of paint you need, the application method you will use, the need for a primer and the need for a hardener or thinner. Different paint compositions determine how you will need to set up for your paint job. We advise opting for an alkyd paint rather than acrylic paint. Alkyd paint has the best price quality ratio and is also perfectly suited for steel. You can also choose between one component or two component paint. One component paint is ready to use and as such very user friendly. It's priced a lot lower but a primer may be as necessary as an undercoat. Two component paint consists of two substances, for example paint and a hardener. These must be mixed according to the manufacturer's data sheet. This paint lasts longer, dries faster and gives a high gloss finish. A primer is not always necessary with two component paints. Once the two components are mixed, the paint will harden very fast so you will need to use the paint quickly. That is why calculating the exact amount of paint you need and good timing are important with two pack paints. Choose a paint that has high covering capacity so that fewer layers of paint still produce a perfect result. If you only need to do a small touch up, a spray can should be sufficient. For complete parts or machines, a paint tin is advised. Make sure the matching spray cans and tins always have the exact same color 
or same batch and ideally get aerosols with spray gun nozzles to replicate the finish of a professional spray pump. For more information on aerosols, check out our previous video above. Are you going to brush, roll or spray the paint? Spraying will provide the most professional finish. Brushing or rolling is recommended for a quick touch up or if there is no spray booth or ventilation systems available. Rolling is possible if the surface is flat. If you have bare steel or areas where filler has been used, we recommend using a primer. If the old paint is not completely removed after sanding, a primer is not always necessary. Apply a primer for colours with a bright pigment such as red and orange, or when there is a high contrast between the old and new paint colours. For light or bright colours use a yellow ochre primer, for dark colours a grey or reddish brown primer is recommended. A thinner isn't always necessary when rolling or brushing. However, when spray painting, it may be necessary to lower the viscosity of the paint, especially if the nozzle of your spray gun is very small. Take into account that more thinner equals a reduced covering capacity. However, if the layer is too thick, there's a good chance there will be a solvent lock. The solvent can no longer evaporate in time before the outside of the paint layer dries, resulting in the formation of blisters, see our other films on paint problems for how to solve these. Make sure the roller is always saturated with paint before starting to paint. Spray painting layers that are too thick will result in an uneven paint that resembles orange peel. Step four is to paint. You can roll or brush in the direction you prefer. When spraying, remember to hold your spray gun at a distance of approximately 25 centimeters from the surface and use regular and smooth movements from top to bottom and from side to side. The spray gun will spray in a vertical line so it's important to work horizontally. Stop painting when the coat of paint is completely even. While painting, the temperature should be around 20 degrees to ensure a good viscosity and adhesion. The fifth step is to observe drying times. A second layer will always be necessary and a third can be applied if desired. Wait five to 10 minutes before applying a second or third layer. The paint will be dust dry in approximately 45 minutes, but will only be fully dry after one day. Drying times may vary due to layer thickness, ventilation, temperature, or the relative humidity. Ventilate the space to remove any spray mist and solvent vapors. This way, the result is better, the paint dries faster, and is better for your health and safety. However, keep in mind that a temperature of 20 degrees is required for the paint to go hard. This is very important for the quality of your paint job. The paint spray cans or tins should also be stored at a temperature of above 15 degrees Celsius. Step six, make sure you're compliant with the decals typical for your machine. Once the paint has dried and hardened, add the specific decals for your machine. We're not talking your favorite brands or sayings here. In general, we're talking about safety decals that identify dangerous parts of the machinery, such as heat, chemicals or moving parts. These decals are required for health and safety inspections and to be in conformity with legislation. For example, you must place load diagrams, load capacity decals and warning labels. Also, additional user instructions and safety information decals on the inside and outside of your machine are recommended. Use decals with good adhesion and a good resistance against UV and water. This way the decals remain intact and legible for a longer period of time. We hope you found this video helpful. For more information, visit our website, ultramaxstore.com or give us a call on 01302 856 666.